Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, I have some sad news today. Um, I think we are going to leave the crew. Not even leave, we're going to abort. There just isn't enough time. We don't have the resources. If we mess up, we'll go bankrupt. We just can't risk it. So yes, sadly, we are going to terminate. It's a sad thing, but it has to be done. But we are going to be doing something pretty cool. We are going to... Ooh. Now what I really want to do... You know what, we could do this. It's... That's good. Um, what we're gonna do is we're also going to put a rover on the moon. So we can do both of these at the same time. Two birds, one stone. So this is gonna be the core of the rover and we're going to design it first. Oh, do we have wheels? Because Yeah, we do. Are these the type of wheels that we can actually, like, use? Well, we'll see in a second. This is gonna look a little bit ridiculous. But it will function for what we need it to. Oops. There we go, let's just test that. Just to make sure it can move. And I don't think it can. Okay. Tiny bit disappointing. So it appears we won't be making a rover. But let's just throw this satellite into orbit around the moon. Seems like a good idea. So we are going to find that probe we were just using. Probe V2. Yes, this is going to uh, make it. We've already done tests. And it worked. Not to the moon, but it was actually further out than the moon that it went. So, I have a good feeling that we're going to be fine. There we go. It's all ready. This is no, never going to be coming back, but what we are going to do is be proactive. Undo that, because I just broke everything. Get rid of that. And quickly add some stuff. We're going to add this so we can actually get some science out of this. And um, we're actually going to turn this like that. Pop that like that. And we're just going to put two goo module things on. So now this is actually scientifically uh, sound. We will get science from this mission. Not sure if either of these are like better than the other. So it actually has a higher bandwidth than the other one. This one looks cool, though. You know, I'm gonna put this one on just because of it, uh... Not only its looks, but it's very low profile and it will not, like, bend and die. I'll put this like this. It will have two thermometers. <laughs> nah, we're only gonna have one. No more mass than we need. Actually, no, we can just pop this on the side here. We don't actually need... Oh, what we'll do... Just gonna completely refactor this. Take this out. Put this here. We're actually gonna put a parachute right on the top of it. We're not gonna need the parachute for this, but... I 
Um, and then we're just going up. Put this right here. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're just going to do one more thing. We're going to go like that. No, we aren't. That just looks stupid. Let's go. This uh, looks good. I'm going to call this one P P Probe V3 because it's better than the other one. So, let's first figure out what direction we want to go in because we don't want to do the same thing as last time where we go in the wrong way. So, we want to be going this way. Oh, good thing we checked. I usually go the other way. Okay. Well, then we have to go left. Three, two, one. Bam. And we have liftoff. So let's hope this is successful. Yeah, those uh, top two rocket boosters aren't flying around like they did last time, which makes me a bit more comfortable. Drop those. Turn on the second booster. Whoa! No, 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 no. You're not doing that. Or maybe you are. We're gonna spin it back up. And we're gonna stop it right there. Oh, we want it to go this way. Right there, perfect. Oh, never mind, not perfect. We can't do that. It's too far. Or we're going to kill ourselves. Something doesn't feel right about this. It seems like we're going in the wrong direction. Oh boy, I can't actually see what we're doing. That's usually a bad thing. Okay, let's figure out where we are. Well, I'm just going to use my best judgment. almost into space. So, we're going to go to the left. So now we are in orbit. It's a good step. Let's try to switch focus back to our spacecraft because right now this is just kind of awkward. There we are. And this looks pretty good. appears we were going in the right direction after all. So this is going to be kind of boring, so we're just going to fast forward this far. So see you guys when this is done.
So, we are here, but we are going in the wrong direction, so we are going to fix that. Because if we don't, it would be very bad. So, we are going to... Wrong way. <sighs> I need to stop burning in the wrong direction. I'm really messing myself up. Okay. Where did the line go? There it is. Come on, switch directions. There we go. Are you kidding me? Did I just like... Yes, I'm going in the complete... Oh my god, I needed to wait a little bit longer. Well, let's see what happens. If we're lucky, we will... Okay, we're going to exit the solar system. It appears. But, no, not the solar system. But we are going to exit the gravity of Kerbin. But this isn't completely terrible because we can get some signs from this. So let's extend our antenna and get some signs. Observe our materials. 50 signs. Oh. I wish I could recover this. 17.5 isn't terrible though. Transmitting. Observe the mystery goos. This isn't going too bad. I mean, sure, we could have gotten more. Ah, uh, 0 0.5, that's terrible. <laughs> Not enough electric charge. Uh, turn. So we can see the sun. Oh, we can see the sun. What's up with this? Oh, I accidentally put two of these on. What is using so much electric charge? We're getting, like, direct sunlight. Oh, these are using it all. Okay, let's stop these until we have more. Stop. Okay. Okay, so, let's see if we can transmit this data at least. Log temperature, transmit. Come on, you can do it. Ah, uh, we didn't get it all across. Can we like speed this up? Oh, we can. Bam! There you go. Okay, so that's some science we got. Now we're just going to pop this off, and we have a little probe, just like out in the furthest reaches of space. We Isn't that just great? It's pretty useless, but then again, maybe we can use it for something. So, 
Let's get back to the space center. We didn't spend too much money on that, so I'm not s super concerned. Uh, we spent a bit, but not a ton. But we did get a lot of science from it. So it was worth it, in a way. Now, the problem is we just don't have enough fuel. But we can't do this with more because we have a weight limit. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this a little bit to get us a better thrust to weight ratio. We are going to make these feed into here. So these all go at the same time. Cool. And this will be the four. Save launch. Okay, so you know what? On second thought, we're going to revise this. I can't. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. We keep running out of money from all this, and I don't think we should be, ex I mean, running out of fuel. I don't think we should be expecting anything different to happen from this. So, let's see what we can do. This thing has got to weigh something. That big block concrete it's only 0 0.1 how much are these they're huge <laughs> they're so heavy so that thing's actually like not heavy at all we have to figure out where we can cut some weight off you know what? what we should be doing is we should be using smaller engines gotta do more with less so let's revise this entire bottom section because the weight is taking directly away from the amount we can do all we're gonna keep is the top section let's just take all this away oh except for that so what can we realistic actually this should be a high uh, efficiency engine there's no reason we should be using saying yeah this thing is gives 320 uh, 350 at 10.7 per second so that's um, one second So that gives you 35 uh, thrust per about one fuel, and this gives you about 30. Oh wait, I did something wrong there. I think I flipped the numbers. but. Whatever, we need better fuel efficiency. Efficiency is what I'm saying. If we don't get better fuel efficiency, we're never going to actually get into space, which is what we need to do. These aren't very bad either. So we're going to put this down here. And we're going to rethink our design. Question is, how much can these things push? I think we do need to get bigger, but we need to do something different. We need to have less here. Do more with less. Hmm. 
We don't have any, like, super powerful engines yet. The skipper is the best we've got. So we're gonna do this with this. This is what we're expecting to get us into space, which... Oh. We have the X2. Thrust 70, 70. Oh. The mass of this one's quite a bit higher. But it'll get the job done. How many can we put on realistically before we have too much mass? That many? Okay. Well then. We're going to redesign this. What's the difference in size? Oh. Well then. We're gonna go heavy on the solid boosters. Literally heavy. These things weigh like a ton. Way more than a ton actually. Uh, many tons. So we're going to strut them all together. Pop the parachutes on the top. So let's figure out how this is going to work. So they're all going to decouple after we use them. Then goes liquid, then that comes off, then goes other liquid. Then it comes off, and then the parachute. And that looks good. What we're also going to do, though, for uh, structural integrity is we're going to do this. And do this. Just to be safe. And we're gonna call this one Probe V5. We're really depending on these solid boosters. Oh! Let's, uh. Give it a little bit of something so that it'll work. It'll be able to control itself. Wonder if we can put a second set on without it getting too angry about the mass. Nope! We are fine on the mass still. These aren't straight, though. There we go. That's perfect. And... wonder if we could fit these in. No. Okay. Let's launch. So, the idea here is that we are going to make it. <laughs> There's idea. We're going to make it. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, I'm liking this already. <laughs> the acceleration is through the roof. This is gonna get us like all the way into space. <laughs> Okay, that was bad. Um, what was damaged? I can't tell. Let's just drop these and, uh, turn on our liquid fuel and hope that it wasn't anything important. I think we lost the goose. Yeah, we lost the goose, but that's okay. Those aren't that important. Cool! We are actually doing very well to start. Look at that. Oh, we're doing so much better than last time. It's actually kind of amazing. Hi. 
no fuel problems with this one. Okay. So we're going to get all the way over here, and then we're going to do two things. A, we're going to make this go in the direction we want it to, because right now we're kind of tilted, and that's bad. So let's quickly change that. And by quickly, I don't mean this ridiculously slow speed. Wrong way. Dang it. Gotta spin all the way around. This takes way too long. I'm going to die of boredom as this nav ball spins. Sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. I, I try to keep my surroundings quiet, but sometimes people don't listen. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to turn a bit further, and before this all goes wrong, we have to finish our orbit. And here it is. Okay, good. Okay, now we are going to turn it in the right direction. If I was smart, I would have waited until the planet was actually aligned in the right way, but, <laughs> um, I wasn't thinking that way. Okay, so we're going to turn once again in an attempt to fix this mess. Yeah, this is going to use a lot of fuel this turn. A lot more than we want to use. Wrong way. Of course. It's okay though, I'm gonna flip around. And this is it. Let's hope that the fuel efficiency on this thing is enough to actually last. This isn't actually going. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, this is gonna last a lot, a while. But it's very slow. So we don't know if this will work. But I think it will. Fuel efficiency was probably worth it. Cue me now speeding things up.
Success! We did it! We positioned a satellite in a polar orbit of Kerbin. And it's given us success. The thermometer is actually hot. <laughs> So let's see if we get any signs from this. I don't think we will, but no. But guess what? We have a probe in the correct place in space, and we just got a ton of money for that. Now I have to land something on the moon. That will be interesting. I will be honest. That will be very interesting. No clue what's going to happen. But we were successful. So, guys, let's uh, go back home and see how much money and stuff we have. Oh, yes. We have a lot of money now. Now what I want to do is upgrade this before we finish that other contract. So let's see if we can get any good contracts here. Ha! <laughs> Orbit around the sun. That would be like impossible. <laughs> um, no. No. Ah, uh, no. Oh, this, this seems easy. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll do that next episode, but we are getting somewhere. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and all that stuff.